Uh, I think Jalen Milrow was phenomenal <laughs> this past weekend. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, th this week is interesting, and I think the landscape is interesting too. Um, I, when I first did this, when we first started uh, rolling this out, I was trying to just go off of the draft eligible guys. I think I'm gonna just go off the best guys I saw. All right, and the, the number one best guy I saw this weekend was Arch Manning, which is crazy. And I feel like people would think it's overreaction or hyperbole, but I know he wasn't playing anybody special, um, but he was phenomenal. And it was it was about the traits that he showed, you know, being able to take off and he got that our, our QB option play where he took it out to the crib and ran. He hit 20 miles an hour on the guns, what they said um, as well. So and then his ability to throw the football. Right. And, and we, I mean, obviously, we expect a man to be able to throw the ball. Right. But he throws with anticipation. He doesn't have like a, a crazy arm. He really does do it by throwing with anticipation and he's accurate. So I'm really a fan of his. And I think I thought he was phenomenal this past weekend. I'm going to surprise some people with another, the next guy. Uh, I think Jalen Miro was phenomenal <laughs> this past weekend. <laughs> Jalen Miro has become one, quietly become one of the best deep uh, passers in in college football, right? And and, and I look, I, I've seen this before. He He's going to morph into Jalen Hurts in my head. And, and I've seen this movie before, and I know Jalen Hurts didn't become what he is now in college. That didn't, that wasn't exactly how it happened, all right? It happened later on once he got to the pros, but... If Jalen Miro is developing nicely, I got to give him credit. I was not a Jalen Miro believer, but he is winning with his arm. He still needs to throw the ball over the, over the middle of the field more, but if you can pair his athletic ability with throwing the ball with accuracy, timing, and anticipation, uh, he has a chance to be a top pick in the draft, which, I mean, would shock me, shock me um, as well. So I got him at number two. Uh, my guy is next, Cam Ward. This is the guy I'm, this is the guy I'm, I'm beating the drum about. Uh, pause. Uh, and so I'm big on the Cam Ward train here, man. And so I, I really would love Cam Ward to be a New York Giant. But yeah, I think he's just keeping up with the excellent play. He hasn't played any power five or any great school yet. I mean, obviously he played Florida, but Florida is down this year. So um, we got to see him play against the tougher part of the schedule and we'll really get more insight about him. But one of the, one of the Heisman leaders and he's shown everything you'd want out of a guy who you're considering Um that you're considering for a top pick and you're considering to be a franchise quarterback. So Cam Ward's my guy. Um, reminds me of Jordan Love. Um, the next guy, Nico. Nico, uh, I got to learn how to pronounce his name. He's doing some justice. He deserves that much. Uh, but Lame lame Lava, I think it is. Uh, you know, I probably got it wrong. But Nico has been um, just, just phenomenal um, this whole year, throwing seeds. And, you know, he's accurate. He hits everybody in stride. He can run. He's the complete package. He's the number one pick in his class, guaranteed as a lock. It's just a matter of whenever he's eligible for the draft, which I believe would be next year, but I might be wrong. You'll have to fact check me on that um, as well. And then at five, um, I I'm going to surprise people again. I'm going to surprise people again. I mean, this weekend I thought Jackson Dart had a good uh, – was, was, was good. He's been playing very, very well. And I think Jackson Dart deserves some love, right, um, as well. Not exactly my favorite prospect in the draft, but he's killing in that system. I mean, he – He's had games where he's had less than two two complete incompletions, right? Playing for Lane Kiffin in that system, so he understands the system, understands how to operate it, can run, dual threat quarterback, not like a extremely great athlete, but um, throws the ball well. I want to see more anticipatory anticipatory throws. I want to see him play against better teams. We'll get there, but I think he deserves some love. So that's my top five for now uh, this week, but it fluctuates as you guys can see um, as well. <laughs>